Welcome to part 3 of an Altium PCB design tutorial series. I hope you have watched the previous video which is a part 2. In order to manufacture this PCB printed circuit board, we not only need only just a Gerber files but we do need NC drill files and peak and place files for PCB assembly and all those things we will be doing into this video lesson. Thanks to Altium software for sponsoring this video. You can download Altium free trial with the link given in a video description. Also, you can simply sign up using the link altium.com forward slash yt slash binary updates. To generate the Gerber files, we have to click on file. Then we have to go to fabrication output and then we have to select the Gerber file. Now you can see here we have quite a few choice. So we have a Gerber files, which is a basic Gerber files. We have a Gerber 2x files and there are other standards. So to keep it simple, I would just click on Gerber files which generates a simple basic Gerber files which will be accepted by most of the board houses to get the PCB manufactured. So click on Gerber files and then I would like to select a millimeter because I usually work with millimeter that's my personal preference and then the format you can select anyone you like so here I have a 4s24 you can also go with 4s22 it's not a problem but I would keep it 4s24 if you use can reduce the cost of manufacturing I mean associated cost for the manufacturing so looks okay for me then if you want you can go to layers and in the layers uh, plot layers lower uh, left corner click here and then select used on which basically uh, select all the layers that we want to select when we generate the curve files so when I select used on then you see it select all the uh, layers that we want to select while generating the Gerber file. Sometimes you don't really need a mechanical layers but I would like to keep it as it is. I don't want to change anything. Then if you want you can go to drill drawings and then we can check this uh, boxes here plot all used uh, drill pair and then check this as well plot all used drill pairs and then aperture we don't have to do anything advanced we don't have to do anything if you want you can just have a look and then click on OK and that's basically generates the curve file now you can see in a lower left corner it says processing layers and now in a few minutes you can see uh, the curve files will be generated so once this is done you can see now I can just zoom out and uh, if you want you can go to generate and uh, documents um, you can click here and now you see all those uh, you know layers maybe you can just click any any layer uh, so it's like a bottom layers and uh, top layers and all other things right so um, this is the gobble files that so this is also the cam viewer okay I usually don't like to save this this Gerber files are already generated so uh, under generated section as I showed you you have document and documents you can expand all of them and you see here in the documents you have all those layers now to check whether the Gerber files are properly generated or not you can go to your project directory so I go to C drive uh, by default um, the Altium create a project under users and in public uh, public document Altium project and this is our project folder LED sequencer so if I go to project outputs for LED sequencer project you see all these files are the Gerber files that we just have generated right so whenever you want uh, to send um, those Gerber files to your manufacturer you can send all those Gerber files okay I would show you a little bit later how you can view this Gerber files into uh, the online Gerber viewers in order to just make sure everything is correct okay so just I wanted to show you where you can find all the files so this is how we can generate the Gerber files now um, as I said you know I don't want to uh, save this scam files so just close it uh, without saving don't save I don't want that um, this Gerber files are enough for me so here is our PCB file uh, so PCB document so here we have our PCB uh, document now after generating a Gerber files we have to create something called NC drill files so we have to go to file again and then go to fabrication output and this time we have to select NC drill files 
So select NC drill files and make sure you select the millimeters, at least I prefer millimeters and the format is 4S24 and then nothing else you have to do, just click on OK and this pop-up comes. We don't have to do anything here, just click on OK and it's gone and it's basically generate the drill files. Drill files are basically the holes on your PCB that includes the holes for the through hole components as well as uh, your vias that is basically in hole from the top to bottom layer so we have all this drill files so look at this in a text document in a lip pen you have this drill file led sequencer you can just select this file right click and you can click on explore and when you click on explore it basically takes you here in the folder where you have this file drr uh, you can expand this and you can see it's a Altium NC drill files. So it is basically again is created in our project output folder the same folder which I said you have to send it to your board house. So this is how we uh, generate the uh, the drill file. Now we don't have to save again this uh, cam whatever that it generates so I just close this I don't need this because it is anyways generated this drill files now one more file that we have to generate is called peak and place files and this peak and place file is useful for PCB assembly if you want that assembly to be to be done through machines and all so we have to go to file and then we have to go to assembly output and in assembly output we have this generate peak and place file option so select generate pick and place and now you have this uh, options here you can select the format as a CSV and the text I would like to keep it as a text file I don't have any special requirement here txt text file is fine uh, as a pick and place file so click on OK and uh, that's enough so click on OK and it generates uh, this file so um, we have to go to text document here and now here look at this peak place for LED sequencer .txt, right so this is the file you can right click this file and you can click on open to see what is the content of this uh, pick and place file so click on open right click and click on open and uh, probably in few minutes or few seconds you can see this is the text file where you have all this uh, you know parameters x y coordinates um, where you want to uh, place which components uh, on your PCB. So that's basically how we can generate the cover files, um, drill files and pick and place files. Okay, so I think if you go back right now in your output folder, LED sequencer output folder, so this one, and uh, you can also see your pick and place file. The other are just an information about a top layer, bottom layer, and your top uh, routing and the bottom layer routing and other stuff. Now if you want to view this uh, Gerber files, Altium provide us and that's basically free and online so we have to go to the browser and just put Altium dot com slash viewer so it's basically an online Gerber viewer the good thing about the Gerber viewer from Altium it's basically Altium 365 viewer from the Altium designer itself uh, you can upload here all those your Gerber files not only Gerber files but you can upload your schematic board file and Gerber files and everything and you can watch uh, all these files how it looks like and even if you don't have the Altium designer installed in your laptop you can still be able to you know upload all this Gerber files output files fabrication files and uh, view how it looks like so click on upload so this is your project folder so you go to project folder and this is your project output for LED sequencer so on the Windows uh, Explorer here you can select the path so copy entire path and then you can just click on upload files and here you can just paste the path of your folder where you have all the Gerber files and then you automatically can see all those files and uh, this these are all our uh, you know PCB layers so select press control A to select all click on open and now you see this file will be uploaded here into the Altium online Gerber viewer so it takes some time and you can not only view the Gerber files but you can also share this Gerber files with somebody who don't even have the Altium designer installed and they still can able to see your Gerber files so look at this here 
our final board looks like PCB and if you click on layers here you have all the layers what I'm gonna do is I would just uh, hide the layers that I don't want to see and you can play around this um, and uh, basically make all those uh, visible so if, let's say if you want to see only top and bottom layer so you can just hide all this drill and other layers and now you have only top layer and the bottom layer so basically all you have look at this you have the copper pore so top layer bottom layer then you have a solder mask then you have a silk screen layer you have a uh, paste what they say here top paste and then you have a drill information NC drill file so let's say if you want to plot the drills here so just uncheck this box and now you can see the drill shows up okay and then you can enable and disable whatever layer you want okay just play around this one so let me just uncheck this one and now you can see so let's say you want to show the name of all those parts so let me just hide this one and I just turn on the silk screen layer and now you can see all this you know uh, silk screen uh, information shows up here I hope you have learned how to generate the Gerber files NC drill files and pick and place file in the next video I will show you how to edit PCB and make a changes in your PCB design also I will show you Altium features like exporting 3d PDF of your PCB design and change the color of your PCB to make it more appealing please check the link in the video description for the next part and thank you very much for watching this video bye bye